Hi all, how you doing? Um, excuse my haircut. <laughs> I, I actually went to cut the back, made a mess of it, and uh, the only way to rectify it was to make myself that total skinhead. <clears throat> but uh, I'm hoping you'll get uh, good information today. Uh, today's video is recovery after a stint. Um, I've been reading a lot on uh, Facebook and uh, other places about people that have had a stent and uh, just like me when I had my stent and my heart attack 14 years ago um, my kids were a certain age and uh, you know you're worried about whether you're gonna live and uh, see your kids growing up and stuff like that and uh, I read one earlier just today on that forum well, not a forum but a Facebook group about a woman that, that just had the stent and uh, she had three young children and uh, Basically, recovery after a stent, right? Uh, you all know if you've had. I would reckon most of these watching this have had a stent. So, you have a stent operation, and um, as soon as the wheel you're out of the ward, uh, back when I had it, I'm sure it's still the same. But you have to lie still for two hours so that the bleeding can stop. Um, now I know they do it through the wrist, so I'm not sure if there's as much bleeding now as there was when they used to do it down in the groin. But you, you still have to rest and then they let you out the next day. Um, after that, it's not like the 70s or the 60s. The 70s and the 60s, you know, after you had a heart attack, it used to be bed rest. And they tell you to sort of rest. What they recommend these days is uh, you try and get into a bit of exercise right away. Now, when I say exercise right away, I mean sort of get up, walk about the house, stuff like that there, stretch your leg. Obviously get a bit of circulation going. I don't mean sort of jump into the swimming pool and do a bit of brisk swimming or stuff like that. But trust me, trust me, that that will come, that will come. Um, because I myself, now, now watch all of the video, don't just watch a bit of it and then think, oh look at that boring out gobshite, he knows nothing. But because I do, and it will help you if you watch all the video. Um, you know you're out of the hospital so the next port of call is you sort of relax for a couple of days and then go out for short walks and then increase it right by about the fourth or fifth week you'll get a letter from the hospital to go to cardio rehab now make a point of going to the cardio rehab after your stent uh, because that'll help the recovery after the stent and uh, it'll it'll give you an idea of what exercise suits you because they've got the trampoline they've got the rolling machine They've got the exercise bike. Uh, I think they've got things you step up and down on and stuff like that. I think I think they have the treadmill as well. I'm not sure. I don't. I, I don't like the treadmill. But the two that I picked was the exercise bike and the rowing machine. The rowing machine. Now after I got out all the heart and so on, I actually got quite fit, and I went swimming and I joined the gym. If you're joining the gym um, and you live in the UK. Go to your doctor and he'll write a wee thing where you can actually get three months free trial on the gym. Can't beat anything free, you know. If it's free, get it. But anyway, I went to the gym, uh, got myself really fit, and I realised that I love the rowing machine. The rowing machine actually builds up every sort of muscle. It's rid of the tummy, builds up the shoulder muscles. If you've got a bad back, it'll actually help your back as well. But... If you do half an hour on the uh, exercise, uh, if you do half an hour on the exercise bike, it's going to burn about 350 calories every half hour. The rowing machine, uh, I think it's roughly about 377. Now, I'm telling you this because I was well overweight when I, I was 14 stone 7 when I had my heart attack. Uh, I, I want to get down to 12 stone and put weight back on again during the lockdown. Obesity is one of the main things that you've got to get rid of for recovery after the stent even if you've got a bit of weight if you're carrying an extra stone that's an extra stone that you're putting on your heart and you don't want to be doing that you want to get down to the perfect weight not too skinny not too skinny you know um my doctor uh i think he's dead now but uh well i hope he's dead because uh, they buried him um but anyway my doctor he lost a hell of a lot of weight and it put about 10 years on him, you know, made him look really old. <clears throat> but anyway, I'm going back to uh, 
the exercise. Uh, pick out an exercise you like and do it from home. That's what I started doing. I bought an exercise bike for about £100. Bought a rowing machine for about £100. Just sits in the corner there. And my exercise bike's over there. So I actually do my rowing while I'm watching the TV. You know, it's just, you know, and it's great exercise. See, when you're, see how you see my arms bending back like that? Whenever you've got the pressure of the rowing machine, that's actually pulling on the muscles of your back and it's strengthening your back, but it's also strengthening your heart. And uh, I mean, there's nothing better than exercise, right? Now, another thing for recovery after having a stent is diet. You know, I used to eat like a pig. I mean, I really did, you know. I'd have been drinking as well. I don't know, maybe one, two bottles of red wine at the weekend. And then after you've had that, feel hungry, you go make a snack. I mean, I'm talking a snack, you know, it's like, couple of bars of chocolate and stuff like that. It's not a wonder. I was a heart attack waiting to happen. And then I was gambling as well and I was going to bed late. That's another thing, late nights. You know, no, 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 you need to cut that out. You know, go to bed early. Because when you go to bed early, that that actually helps heal your heart. Uh, that's a fact. Another thing, recovery after your stand, hydration. Another thing I was doing was, I was drinking that much red wine and then going to bed. And uh, Obviously, I was waking up and uh, I wasn't hydrated properly. I was dehydrated. Um, I actually had my heart attack on a Sunday morning at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, which I was actually drinking the night before. So I obviously de dehydrated myself. And dehydration increases blood pressure, blood pressure, boom, heart attack, you know. Um, excuse me for the lighting, by the way, uh, it keeps changing. It's uh, because the light isn't working on my, what do you call it? And uh, it's uh, the sunlight, it keeps changing. It's one minute it's sunny and the next minute it's dark. So it's not just your imagination, you are seeing it. But, you know, recovery after a stent, you know, you take your medication, uh, Plavax the first year, that, uh, that is a killer drug. But you've got to take the Plavax because you do not want your stent, uh, what do you call it? You don't want the plaque growing over your stent again. And Plavax, oh, you take Plavax for the first year. So I read that some people were taking it for two to three years. My cardiologist and both my doctor told me just to take it for the one year. You know, if you're taking uh, Plavax for three to five years, please, my friend, get off that drug. See your doctor, get off it. Just take the aspirin. You do not need to take Plavax for that number of years. One year, just to make sure that that doesn't cover over. You know, um, a lot of stents do cover over within the first year. That's the worst year. You know, you get the first year over and then it's plain sailing after that. As long as you follow all the rules that I've told you, keep yourself to a certain weight, exercise daily, exercise well, um, give yourself a good diet, don't overeat, nice small portions, get your weight down, Keep yourself hydrated. And another, another thing as well is up there mentally. You know, a lot of people don't have a positive attitude after a heart attack. And I must put my hand up and say in the first year I was the same. I was on Google, Google, Google and uh, oh, 25% of people die in the first year after uh, having a heart attack. And, uh, you know, you, you recover after a stent and you're reading that, you know. And you're thinking to yourself, oh my God, am I going to die within the next five years? Am I, how long am I going to live? And then I sort of, I thought about it and I realised, you know, I was only 53 at the time. Most of the people that were in my ward were in their 80s. So, you know, I'm not being cruel to anybody that's in their 80s, sort of, and watching this. And I'm sort of saying, but, you know, most people die when they're sort of in their late 80s, you know, and some get into sort of 90s. I mean, that's a fact of life. So those are, look, most of the people were, I mean, say there was 30 people in my ward, right? There was only about seven that were sort of in their 50s and younger, right? The rest were all sort of in their 80s. So when you're taking the stats of all the people that have had a heart attack, you know, most of the percentage of people are sort of in their late 70s and 80s. So. If you're in your 50s, and then that woman that was on the uh, Facebook that I was probably in her 40s, you know, 
you get your stent and you follow your medication and you exercise and you get good sleep, you get good hydration, you take your medication, you know, and some people ask and some people have said, you know, they give up drink. I, t I take a wee bit of gin and, you know, gin actually contains, I forget what the substance is called, uh, is it juniper or something like that? But it contains something that's actually quite good for your heart. And plus, if you work all week, it relaxes you. You just don't overdo it, you know. Um, I know a guy and uh, he was dented even before. I mean, I, I'm alive 14 years, so I am. And he, uh, this guy I know got stented, he's got a stent about 22 years ago. And he's still going strong. So if you're watching this and you've just had a stent and you're worried about dying and you're worried about your young kids and whether you're going to live to see them that you know, live to see them that jeez, forgive me, uh, live to see them growing up. Trust me, if you follow the rules, uh, you will. I have, you know, I mean, I'm still here and uh, I've even put weight on. Uh, but I've actually lost half a stone in the last week. Not the last week, what am I talking about, for Christ's sake. I've lost a stone. Uh, oh, I'm getting confused here, for God's sake. I think it's looking at that haircut that's putting me off. Um, I've lost half a stone uh, in the last month. And I'm trying to lose like three to four pounds a week. And I'm doing it by the small portions. And I'm doing it by my cycling and by my rowing. You don't have to cycle a row, you can go out walking and stuff like that and you can do the same job as me, just lose the weight, you know. And that will put you on the road to your recovery after a stent and your recovery after a heart attack. And you will live, my friend, for many, many years. And it's a, it's a simple matter. Um, a heart attack is not what it was in the 70s and so on, you know. I'm guessing you probably got the uh, drug eluded stent. That's the stent I got. And um, I would have to actually say my recovery after a stent was uh, first month, just sort of walking, basic walking, right? End of my six weeks, I was at the, um, the gym and doing light exercise with a trainer uh, from the hospital. Or sorry, no, I wasn't at the gym yet. I was at the... Um, the cardio right so i went to the cardio for about six weeks enjoyed it that much and enjoyed meeting the people because you were able to talk to other people and tell each other about your experiences i think that's why i do this and try and encourage people to comment because that's why i like going to facebook and reading other people's comments really interesting it's good to hear what other people you know how they've coped with it but uh no it's great uh cardio rehab you know, I wish um, you could go to the cardio rehab all the time. But after that, I went to the gym. Now, when you join the gym, and uh, if you're like me, I carry like a wee uh, tin, sort of wee small tin veil, and inside it I have uh, two aspirin. So if I ever take a heart attack, I would just put the two aspirin underneath my tongue. That'll sort of dissolve within your tongue and go down the, uh, the artery and sort of... Uh, unblock just enough to let the blood flow and keep you alive until the ambulance gets there now when i'm going to the gym i make the guy in the gymnasium aware of it if i'm getting in for a swim i'll give it to the guy in the swimming pool and make him aware of it so if anything happens to me in the gym or while i'm swimming they'll be able to administrate it you know slip it under my tongue call an ambulance and you know i'll live to get another stent and live for another couple of years and that's that's the good thing about you know the recovery after a stent these days because if you have a second heart attack or anything like that the technology is just getting better and better the technology since i had my stent 14 years ago i mean 14 years ago you got your stent through your groin and nowadays you get it through your wrist you know i just wish i had got it through the wrist it would have been brilliant i hated getting it through the groin but well, I was lucky I'm alive, I'm alive to tell a tale. I was lucky I was alive to actually get the clot bust and to get a stent placed in the first place, you know. But I would like to know how you use yourselves are doing your recovery after a stent. But the first year, after I recovered after the first year, I was actually doing good, strong exercise. I mean, 14 years later, I'll give you an example of what I did last night, right? 
I was watching a TV program, Emmerdale, that's in the UK. If you're watching in India, you've probably never heard of uh, Emmerdale. But I was on the exercise bike for 45 minutes, and my God, the sweat and so on, you build up, right? So I then sat down and I turned the movie on, and I waited about a half an hour, 45 minutes, until I sort of relaxed a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I got on the rowing machine. The rowing machine is so relaxing, right? See, once you get the hang of the rowing machine, it's brilliant. I was in the rowing machine for must have been about 30 minutes and then maybe even longer about 40 minutes but you see when you've done that and see when you've done it for about a month you feel absolutely amazing absolutely amazing and those two exercises especially rowing rowing is fantastic for strengthening your heart it really is and you see if you could get me kettlebells they are fantastic lifting like that there you see for strengthening your heart if you actually google it weightlifting no not not like arnold schwarzenegger weights small kettlebell weights you know and as you can see when i'm pulling you'll see that you know see the movement there right now that'll be exercising your heart but it'll also be exercising your shoulders and other parts of your body and it's it's perfection absolutely perfection for building your body up i highly recommend it getting yourself a wee set of the kettlebells kettlebells row machine exercise bike that's a gymnasium in my living room and uh, besides the haircut i'd like to think i'm living proof that uh, you know you're fit and healthy looking and i mean at the end of the day i'm 67 years old now i know i, lo I know I, I know i look much younger and i know i'm very modest and I hate to actually say that, that I look much younger, you know, but at the end of the day, you only live once. And uh, the thing about stents, it helps you live twice. And with the technology today, if I was to have a second heart attack, I would know what they expect with the symptoms and stuff. And if you don't know that, take a look at some of my other videos and you'll see sort of oncoming signs of a heart attack and how to prevent a heart attack and you know know that that's going to happen so you can get yourself to the hospital in time and just like your car if your car breaks down or your car is playing up you can get another part put in get another stent stuck in there keep the other one company what can i say <laughs> you know and there you go you know you're going to put another few years in the clock you know and not only are you going to see your kids growing up you're going to see your kids kids growing up win-win you know but listen um thanks for watching and uh not only listening to me talking a load of rubbish you know um but i hope you got some help out of it and uh, my uncle fester looked and put you off i'm hoping uh by next week uh the hurl have actually grown a bit you know uh someone at work actually said i looked like a someone that was in belson you know but anyway thank god i wasn't in there such a place such a crime um listen um if you could if you could like this video i would appreciate it because my last video got like a thousand views and i only got about 27 likes so i mean just hit the button it's easy you know and if you have a youtube cha a channel or a subscription i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and hit that bell and you know subscribe to my channel and watch some of my other videos and you know follow my adventures in heart disease and uh, i also do the odd video about sort of ordinary health things as well and I'd, I'd like you to leave comments as well i'm not just interested in me i would like to hear about you as well so if you you know you could pop a comment down below you know tell me you know when did you get a stent how long ago did you get a stent um what have you done uh health ways to prevent sort of a second heart attack and just basically tell me about yourself or you know tell me what you think of the video and you know just leave a comment but definitely do subscribe because i'd i'd like to think that you know what i'm talking to you and telling you does help you but the main thing is obesity. The way I look at it in life is, you know, if, if you dander in the nursing home 
and see all the people in their 80s and 90s. Are there many obese people there? Are there? There really aren't. What does that tell you, my friends? It tells you to lose some weight, and that's what I'm doing at the moment. Anyway, you take care. Uh, please do subscribe and look after yourselves. Cheers. Thank you. Bye-bye.